Hi everybody, it's Friday, how's it going? I am wearing this rather dashing hat because I need a shower and my hair looks awful. And the reason I haven't had a shower is because um, it's bank holiday Friday and um, Jess has been with my mum all week. And today is the first day that um, my fellas had off work and we have basically spent the whole day slobbing in our pyjamas, it's been lovely. She's coming back tomorrow and I'm really looking forward to it. I have missed her, but it has been nice having a few days off. I've enjoyed all of your videos this week. I haven't watched um, Kim's yet, which I will do very, very shortly. Sorry about that. Courtney, glad you're reading Stephen Fry, because, you know, everyone should read Stephen Fry. He's awesome. Um, yeah, awesome stuff. Love him, absolutely. I am currently reading Asimov. I like Asimov, he's interesting, and I can never get enough of sci-fi. It's wonderful. This story hasn't massively gotten going yet, but it's just starting to get interesting. I've never read it before, and it's it's pretty cool so far. So, so far I can recommend it. Devon, you were talking about Game of Thrones. Um, I am never, ever, ever going to watch Game of Thrones. It's just not going to happen after I... Um, a friend of, friends of mine uh, convinced me to try and start watching it and I watched the first episode not long after the first series had stopped first season had stopped and I already knew that I didn't know who but I already knew that about half of the characters had died in nasty ways and it seemed like the first episode didn't really have massive amounts of story but had huge amounts of learn a million names see this character and him and them, and they're them, and that's there, and this is this area, and then bad things, and then what, and then, oh, it just, I'm sorry, it just seems too much effort and far too much emotional investment to, uh, no, just not. Paddy, I'm glad that you're alright after your accident, and I'm really, really sorry about uh, the death of your car. I, I sympathise. Um, what is that beeping noise? There's a couple of videos that you've made in, in, that, in that particular room and there's this beeping noise that keeps on going throughout the, the videos that you take in that room. What is that? It's been driving me crazy trying to figure out what it might be. I'm also kind of sad that I seem to be the, um, one of the few people that hasn't actually spotted a doppelganger. I'll have to keep my eyes open and I promise if I, if I do spot one I will take, I'll make sure that there's photographic evidence. Real, I'm sorry that your sky gazing didn't go as planned. Being British, I am no stranger to the idea of clouds ruining an evening's sky gazing. There's a programme in this country called The Sky at Night, which used to be pre presented by the fantastic Patrick Moore. And they had an entire episode where the cloud cover was so bad that they couldn't see anything and they had no other programming built in. They had no contingency built in for this. So basically the whole episode was then just going, well, it's still really cloudy and we can't see anything. Uh, oh, here's a British weather awful. Uh, yeah, so let's talk with experts about stuff. It was quite hilarious. It was, you'll probably be able to find it. It's from like the 1960s and it's just hilarious of them talking about nothing for half an hour. I've had two weeks off college for the Easter break and I'm feeling very relaxed but we start back on Tuesday so no doubt, no doubt next week I'll be back to my frazzled self. Courtney, see you tomorrow. <laughs>